Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and I am back with another 12 by 12 layout using the Stitched Collection by Close to My Heart. Now you can see in the top left hand corner I am going to be using a sketch. And the reason I'm going to be using that sketch is because I had this pattern paper, which I never in a million years thought I would use this side of it. But what I end up doing is cutting out all those triangles and turning in them into squares <laughs> that I could put um, on their axes. I don't know, on their corners like that sketch shows. I am just going to be trimming all those out. I am sticking them together using uh, just a little piece of double-sided tape on the back side of it. You can see I have a little piece right there with a the white border. I did try it both ways and decided that I liked the way without the border better. I did like that one better. So yeah. I am going to be trimming up my photos right here. I don't know what size I made them. Um, just a random size. <laughs> there was nothing really in my mind about how I wanted to use it. This right here is my favorite paper in this collection. Um, it is gorgeous. It is that floral paper. I believe the other side is that stitch paper. And actually, when I end up later on, you'll see I do end up flipping that over so that that stitch side, the quilting looking type side ends up showing. I'm going to go ahead and commit to the placement of these blocks. I'm going to put them down off camera because it will take a minute. I am going to end up um, right here matting my photos on some white cardstock. I'll mat them again on this red cardstock. Now, in the month of May, I think it was, um, or I think it is, Close to My Heart, actually, I think the Blue Skies came out a little bit before May, but at that time, they also came out with this cardstock that is really cool. On one side of the cardstock, it, it, there are some UV layers on it in different patterns, and then the other side is just like a flat color. I will use that for to back my photos again. So I'll be using um, the white to back my photos, but I'm also going to be having a red border on there as well. Right here you can see that I am, um, I have put the squares down how I'd like them to go, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting them down. All right, now here is that red cardstock that I was talking about. You see, I, well, actually, I don't know if you can actually see it. There is some design on it. You can kind of see how the light reflects on it in uh, a couple different ways. There's like a lot of little squares or plus signs or Aztec looking images or something like that on there. I don't know exactly what it is. Here's where I decide to go ahead and flip that over. You saw where I was really committed to using the flower side but then when I flipped it off, I was like, well, that kind of looks better with the squares at the bottom, in my opinion. And you can see down there, I was lacking a square, but that's okay. I decided, well, I can put an embellishment cluster down there and go ahead and fill that spot up. Right here is where I'm going to go start doing it. I will put this flower down and I'll pick another flower down to put on top of it with a... Um, foam dot. Now my title is cut out of that same red cardstock and I am using a die I'm sitting here trying to find it and I don't see it. I must have put it up. Can you believe that? I never put anything up. Oh wait, look, I didn't put that up either. Um, it was thin cuts from close to my heart and they're called, oh, looky there, block alphabet. You would think I would have been able to remember that, but no. I'm also going to put another sticker down there that says happy. I do pop that up on some foam and then I put this little leaf down there and on this one, I'm just going to pop up the end of the leaf, the little outside part of the leaf. I'm just going to pop that up on a little bit of a dot. Here I'm looking for my T-square ruler because my desk is a mess as per usual. I sat down one day and I did four layouts with this collection on the same day and it was so much fun. I didn't really actually know that or not know I didn't think that I would enjoy this collection as much as I did. I just love it. It was a lot of fun to work with. Oh my word. I had such a good time. I did all, I finished everything I could in one sitting. I do have some uh, four by six and three by four cards left over because I did get those. And I also got some of the, um, 
mix in papers so I did use some of the mix in papers in fact that background paper it's a light gray with a stripe through it that is one of the mix that is from the mix in paper pack so yes I did use some of those papers as well it was just a good time I just had fun chilling out in here by myself um this coronavirus thing man it's hard I was reading a story the other day and I was telling my husband about it I was reading the story online the other day and they were talking about how domestic violence calls have went up because of uh husbands and wives having to spend so much time together I'm like oh snap <laughs> I told Jim don't get any ideas man <laughs> <laughs> that is not funny because that is actually an issue for some people I know. So I shouldn't, you know, whatever. Um, I am going to go ahead and take this blue flower out. See, I'm always sticking my foot in my mouth. I know someone's going to make a comment about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and use this blue flower right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it up on some foam tape. I am using those foam dots also from Close to My Heart. Michelle introduced me to those and I absolutely love them. I can't get enough of them. I did end up buying, buying two packs, and I am mostly done with the first pack. Thank goodness I have that second pack that I can use. And they're actually, I feel like those dots have actually lasted longer than the tape. And I think it's maybe when I use the tape, maybe I overuse it, perhaps. I don't know. I do feel like those dots actually last me quite a bit longer. So, yeah, I am really enjoying those. And that might be my new go-to for pop-ups. So, over in the top right, you saw I just put down a little red flower cluster. And then I put a yellow flower on top of that. Both of them have foam foam dots underneath. Yellow flower has foam dots. But on that red flower, I just put a small foam dot, again, at the tip of that flower like I did with that leaf down at the bottom. Here I went ahead and pulled out my favorite. I know, I know, Becky, you overuse those. Not such a thing. Thank you so much. They are the gold glitter gems from Close to My Heart. I do love those things. I put them on a lot, a lot, a lot of layers. Right there, I just added an extra foam dot under one of the little petals that came out off of that flower because it looked like it was drooping to me and I didn't like it. Right here, I do pull out my shimmer pin and my shimmer brush from close to my heart again and this is the color sapphire it is a deep blue and it is a gorgeous if you want to look at the close-up on it right here I think I'm showing you before it's even dry I just put it up to the screen in the pictures you might get a better idea of what they look like when they're dry oh by the way these are photos of myself and Riley and I'm like Riley let's take some selfies and she stuck her phone her her finger up her nose and then she stuck two fingers up her nose <laughs> that's my girl all right guys i want to thank you so much for joining me please check the links down below and i will see you next time bye guys